The world-famous London Marathon took place earlier this month, with Amos Caprota becoming quite incredibly the 10th different Kenyan to win it. However, for a brief spell at the very start of the race, English runner Richard Lee Wright became a viral sensation after sprinting off into the lead. Today, we're discussing Lee Wright's motivations for wanting to lead the race, plus other bits and pieces, so don't go anywhere. So let's jump straight in. What's this all about? Richard Lee Wright lived the dream of many a professional and amateur runners on October 2nd, 2022, as his quick start in the London London Marathon had the legendary African runners in his midst briefly worried as he sprinted off to lead the race. Lee Wright only led for a few hundred meters before he was caught by the chasing pack and would pay a heavy price for expending so much energy early on as he crossed the finish line with a still decent time of 3 hours 23 minutes. The Englishman had earned himself a spot on the elite striding line with some good performances in the build-up to the race, which was ultimately won by Caputo with a sensational time of 2 hours 4 minutes and 39 seconds, but he lived out a dream he had harbored for more than six years as he sprinted clear of the field. Lee Wright explained his motivations shortly after the race in an interview with the Metro as he said, It all started about six years ago. A friend and I were watching the London Marathon and he said, obviously, that they really run fast, which is possibly one of the biggest understatements of all time. A wacky idea then formed in the now 38-year-old's mind as he told his friend he believed he could lead the race at some point in the future, to which his friend informed him that he had zero chance of making that a reality. What else do we know then? Stick around to find out. Well, of course, most most of Richard's friends thought he was living in a fantasy land as he revealed that everyone he told about his plan would simply laugh at him. He went on, When I put my arm in the air as he led the marathon, that's probably because I realized my dream had come true and that I'd done it. I mean, good for him. He then said he had to catch the elites before explaining it was a little difficult to squeeze past them, but says he just kept going. He then revealed that there was no way anyone was stopping him from at least leading the race for a few short seconds, saying that even if Jamaican legend Usain Bolt had been there, he would have gone for him. Richard can still be mighty proud of his marathon time as he crossed the line with a sub-330 finish, which was still well more than an hour off the winning time. But he finally got to live out his dream, and for that, he should be commended. Of course, many other amateur runners will almost certainly attempt the exact same thing in future races, but why not try to break down the metaphorical running barriers? However, it's not as easy as it might sound to earn yourself a spot at the very front. You must run a sub-2-hour 40-minute marathon, which Richard had previously managed to do with an excellent time of 2 hours and 37 minutes. Give us your best running story below. Some news from the women's race now. Stay with us. Yalhamzerv Yahualu smashed the London Marathon record for the youngest ever winner earlier this month as the Ethiopian crossed the finish line in 2 hours, 17 minutes, and 26 seconds. However, she had to overcome a spot of adversity earlier in the race as she tasted the asphalt, having face planted around the 20-mile mark. The 23-year-old tripped on a sleeping policeman, aka a speed bump, which sent her crashing into the road. The accident left her with small injuries to her hip and knee but what would have concerned her more was that she had slipped more than 25 meters off the pace. She was able to make up the ground, however, as she crossed the line with the third fastest time in history, leaving fans wondering what could have been had she not fallen over. After the race, the youngster revealed, I was heading to a water station, so I did not see the bump coming. Before adding, it was very painful. I've lost some feeling in my hip knee and my hand. They're still sore now. However, just four miles after her accident, Yahuwala had managed to chase down the pack and was involved in a straight shootout with defending champion Joyceline Jemkuski having pulled ahead of the rest. A mile 24 time of 4.43 propelled her into the lead and she wasn't about to lose from there. She then said she has plans of breaking the world record next time out. Good luck Yalamzer. Next up is a pretty inspiring marathon story. Stay tuned. Rose Harvey became the best placed British runner at the recent London Marathon, finishing in 10th place with a highly respectable time of 2 hours 27 minutes and 59 seconds. What makes Harvey's story so special is the fact that just a couple of years back, she was a relative novice, having only started running seriously during the lockdown. Explaining that she got made redundant, which allowed her to train, she revealed her now coach spotted her while she was training for an Ironman and asked if she needed some coaching. And the rest, as they say, is history, as the 30-year-old is now sitting at the top of British distance running. After losing her job in the summer of 2020, Rose decided to pick up a new hobby. As she explains, I had three months of garden leave and began training for a half Ironman, before adding that just 11 months later, she had run 231. One. Having gotten a new job, Harvey decided to carry on her new fitness pursuit and shortly after ran a 2 hour 27 minute 27 second time in Seville which she classed as a huge breakthrough for her. She wasn't a complete newbie however and had taken part in the London Marathon previously but hadn't posted anything like her 2022 time before she started seriously training. She continued, it'd been an absolutely whirlwind two years, lockdown was rubbish in every other aspect but it was the start of my running career. What did you guys get up to during lockdown? Some sad news to report from the event. 
that now. In any given marathon around the world, there is always the small possibility of tragedy occurring, and the London Marathon earlier this month was no different. Sadly, a 36-year-old man passed away after collapsing during the race, which was confirmed by organizers shortly after the conclusion of the event. The man had collapsed on mile 24 of the race, but the immediate medical assistance and subsequent ambulance treatment weren't enough to save his life as he died in the hospital a short time later. As of right now, an official cause of death is unknown, but often in cases such as this, it is down to an underlying heart condition. Event organizers issued a statement following the incident expressing sincere condolences to the man's family and friends, but added no further details will be released in accordance with their wishes after the family had expressed a wish for privacy. It is thought a medical examiner will determine a cause of death imminently. Incidents like this are one of the few drawbacks of long-distance running, and we pass on our sincere condolences to the man's family, of course. And finally, a Guinness World Record stick around. There are plenty of weird and wonderful world records in the Guinness Book of World Records, and another was just posted in the recent London Marathon as Jeremy Mallard from Harrogate, Yorkshire, ran the full 26.2 miles dressed as a unicorn. Mallard completed the race in a highly respectable 3 hours and 26 minutes, making him the fastest ever male to complete the race dressed as a mythical creature. I mean, some of these world record categories are pretty hilarious. Mallard revealed he got the idea thanks to his daughter's obsession with unicorns and added, I did practice around Harrogate, so the locals must have thought there was a unicorn on the run, which must have been a pretty funny sight. Mallard turned heads with his rainbow tail, unicorn mask, and rainbow accessories, but did admit to suffering a little as there was only a small hole through the mouth of the unicorn to see out of, and the breathing as well, so it was a very limited vision, before adding it was quite hot. And somewhat strangely, Mallard has run the marathon before dressed as another mythical creature in a previous race. He ran dressed as a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, but it was his performance this time out which made sure of the new world record, as judges at the finish line confirmed he had shaved 22 minutes off the previous best time in the category. What costume would you guys choose to run a marathon in if you had a choice? As usual, thanks for stopping by today, and remember to tune in again next time for some more fun and games, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Bye, guys.